friends welcome to my channel so we're gonna go ahead and talk about fall can you guys believe that it's about to be fall hi mumu this is my puppy sorry okay so let's just chit chat about fall i have my fall decorations right here but i don't know like it's 92 it's 92 degrees right now and i was just like i just don't feel like decorating for fall when it's 92 degrees but i do have my favorite little coffee mug and this is um, fall Starbucks coffee beverage with cream, cinnamon, and maple syrup. So I am drinking my little fall drink. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about why I love fall and what I'm excited and looking forward to. I'm excited about the cozy weather. I'm excited about things just kind of slowing down. And honestly, this summer, it was wonderful. But Towards the end of the summer, it just started getting miserable for me. The weather was just too hot. It was getting too draining. And, you know, having two jobs started to, like, you know, um, make me tired. Even though with my two jobs, it ended up being, like, full-time. But just getting tired of, like, multitasking. So that was kind of hard on me. Um, so, yeah, let me put down my fall bucket list. I want to go camping this year. Every year, we went camping this summer, but I want to go camping fall. It's a little bit different during the fall time because it's just like that morning crisp air and also, um, you know, it's just like our tradition to go camping during the fall. And I like going camping during the fall because I don't have to worry about being so hot. Only thing is when you go camping during the fall and you actually sleep outside, it gets really cold at night. So hopefully this year we won't get that cold and we'll have a better game plan. Um, I want to go to the Native American powwow that we went to last year. I have a vlog on it. I'll put the video down. That was unexpected. We were just walking around. We were just driving around. We were just like, we went to the park, the park that we usually like to go to. And then we saw a whole bunch of cars and we we're like, oh, this must be an activity. And then we had like a wonderful time. And it was amazing because it was so unexpected. So now I want to go to the powwow every year. Um, that was really nice. So um, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to make a beautiful video like that because it was just so unexpected. But yeah, I want to do that this year. I want to go bike riding. So um, this summer it was too hot to go bike riding. For some reason we didn't go bike riding during spring. So fall and spring is a wonderful time for me to go bike riding. So I want to go bike riding. Um, I want to go to Cheekwood Botanical Garden during the fall time because they have like festives going on so like during the fall they have fall things and like during Halloween they have like Halloween things so I didn't do that last year so I want to do that this year I really don't like going to haunted houses but I need a little excitement okay so it's a maybe I'm thinking about going to a haunted house maybe um, of course cozying up and watching movies and you know, just enjoying the time to be inside and hopefully my puppy will be a little bit more older and I can like cuddle with her and snuggle with her without her biting me constantly. Um, I'm gonna go back to my baking. I did bake this summer, but not, I think I bake more during the fall and winter. So I can't wait to make pumpkin bread. Maybe in the next video I'll make pumpkin bread. Last year I made pumpkin bread and I brought it to work and everybody loved it and I loved it as well. It was so moist. So I hope I can find that recipe. So pumpkin bread and every year my husband, he started, you know, picking up on baking and he knows how to make cookies and he makes the best cookies ever. Um, what he makes is pumpkin cream cheese cookies. I don't know if they're exactly what they're called, but they're like sugar cookies that have like cream cheese and pumpkin and uh, so good. So I can't wait for him to make those cookies. Um, if you're on my channel, you notice me, whatever, cooking and baking, you don't really see me making cookies because that's not something I learned how to make and honestly making cookies is so hard for me. Uh, I really don't make bread and I really don't make cookies. Now bread I'm not too intimidated by but I am intimidated by making bread and cookies because you have to be very careful of like the ingredients and the timing on how you bake it. Everything has to be like so perfect so that's hard for me. Um, there's going to be a lot of festivals this fall. So I'm looking forward to going to the festivals and just kind of enjoying that. I can't wait to get me some beanies. I love wearing my little hats and my scarf. So I'm looking forward to that. Every year there's a Greek festival and I missed it last year. So I'm gonna try to go to the Greek festival. And I think I already missed the medieval festival. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to make some festivals. So that's basically it. So now that we just chit chat, 
um, I told one of my neighbors last year that I was gonna well, I made him I made like he, he's out there sometimes sometimes I bring him some baked goods and then he told me he liked apple crisp so he saw my husband like three or four days ago and he was like your wife said she was gonna make apple crisp so now I have to make apple crisp pretty soon because he's he's asking about it so I need to remember to do that um there's something else oh I don't really have any fall kitchen decorations so maybe on the next video we can go see actually I'm gonna go to the mall right now and I'm gonna go look so we can go look and see what they have so I want to get something for the kitchen and I like I don't like getting too much things honestly I don't want to have like a whole bunch of stuff um, also it's expensive if you buy a whole bunch of things you know and it can be clutter so that was a lot of talking now let's go ahead and look and see the inventory so it's down here let me see give me a second so I can show you guys okay okay so let's see what we have so we have these pretty um, pillows I got this from Target like two years ago so that's nice it's like a soft pretty orange color and then this is for Halloween I don't know where to put it but whatever I really don't have that much stuff. So three pillows, three pillows, a wreath. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so this is the wreath. Will I get a new one? Probably not. So we got three pillows. There's really not that much stuff. But I told you guys I don't want to get out of control. Um, oh my goodness, some things are missing. Some things are missing. And then I have this right here that I put on the butt by the TV. And I have a couple of these, like 10 of these little white, uh, white pumpkins. And then I have this, and I have this. This is what I put on the dining, on the coffee table. And then I have this little cute pumpkin right here. And I put this, I think I put this in the dining room table. Okay, so really not that much stuff. And then, there's supposed to be three of these and a big white one. I need to find, there's a big one. So I put this on the coffee table. Okay, so it looks like the things that I have is, I don't know. And then, we have this cute little fall orange right here that goes, that goes on in the kitchen, like on the, the little, island then I don't remember getting this but this is cute so we have that it's a tractor and then we have hey the puppy keeps on putting this I don't know she keeps putting this in her mouth then we have the spider I love this spider that's for Halloween this is so cheap I don't know why I brought this but it's actually kind of cute when you walk past it it like makes noise oh. do -do -do -do. Then we have one black pumpkin. And I think that's it, y'all. So it looks like I could probably use a little bit more things. I'm trying to think. Then I have my blanket right there, my red blanket. So that's pretty much it. Um, hmm. This is nice, but I think I want to... A part of me wants to get a new, uh, a new, new, new one of these and that's not priority oh for the christmas video if you guys watched the christmas video remember when i had those three wreaths that was um in front of on top of the tv wouldn't that be cute if i had three they were like fall i don't know um i might have to diy that but yeah that's pretty much it and then most of the times how i make it cozy with just having these simple things oh did i show you this one it's cute um, how I make it cozy is just having like candles, just setting the mood right, and mostly baking, honestly. Candles, setting the mood right, and like I, I will cook fall themed food, like squash, butternut squash, and things like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it, I mean. And then I have another coffee mug, so uh, I guess today if I want to get more things, I can get a little bit more things, but I don't like getting too much stuff, because I kind of want to keep it contained in one bucket so 
we'll see. We'll see what I can do. Maybe the maybe the first video or like maybe today since I don't have that much stuff. Remember I told you guys I wasn't gonna decorate it. I might decorate it because I don't have too much things, and I can kind of see how it looks, so I can see what I want to add to it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, Y'all, look at my hair. <laughs> I'm so happy. I can't believe. Y'all, I didn't put this in there because I was sensitive about the situation. Like when I lost all my hair a year ago or two years ago, feels like forever. That was like heartbreaking. Like I was like crying. I was sad. I was so sad. Like I was depressed because I lost my hair, but it's back this is my first time getting my hair straight and i think in like two years or like a year um like my whole hair because i had extensions so when i had extensions i would straighten the front um i would straighten the front but i wouldn't straighten you know like the actual hair but this is all me and i'm so happy okay i'll see you guys later i'm gonna go to the um i'm gonna go to like whatever i'm gonna go to target couple places and I'm just gonna see what they have hey mama you want to cuddle and and then from there I'll see you guys later bye say bye say bye faithy faith oh I love you so much oh she wants to cuddle she knows I'm gonna leave oh, I feel bad for leaving you okay say hi say hi to everybody say hi say hi say hi mama you want to cuddle So, I want to talk about the seasons and how everything has its time and its place. We all know that, right? But maybe we can move with the seasons as well. See these pillows and this decorating. It's not about the pillows. It's not about the decorating. It's not about the orange. It's about me creating a home. It's about me creating a new tradition. It's about me, you know having a place that feels cozy, feels warm, feels safe, feels inviting. And fall is a time for me, usually when I get kind of busy, it's a time for me to reflect. It's a time for me to think about my year and analyze how it went, right? Because sometimes we can be so busy that we don't even think about how the year went and what we're looking forward to. And so I guess my message is, pay attention to your life. Take inventory of your feelings. And I know it's easy to say, be thankful. But really, I have to constantly remind myself to be thankful for what I have, to be thankful for what I can create, and to be thankful for what can come towards me. I'm thankful for all my flaws. I'm thankful for all my victories. I'm thankful for this life that I'm breathing. I'm thankful for this air that I'm breathing. I was born and created to be alive. I was born and created to live. And so this journey is a beautiful journey if you really, really, really pay attention to it, right? And that's what fall reminds me. It reminds me to slow down and to think about the phases in my life, to think about where I'm trying to go, to think about tradition and family. I love y'all. I have to choose priority. I want the dining room table to just be like really neutral and just little touches of fall orange, soft orange colors. I kind of like the washed out look. Sometimes, like, even right now when I'm looking at this, I'm like, eh, this is kind of orangey. But it's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Really something that I'm accustomed to buying a whole bunch of decorations and stuff like that. So this, to me, feels really fall-like. Like, this is good enough for me. So I don't think I'm going to do anything with the living room. But there's really not anything in the dining room table, so I do want to change that. And there's really not anything in the kitchen, so I do want to add, like, little touches. So I'm thinking maybe... You know the towels in the kitchen my coffee spot i'm thinking about having like a cute little fall coffee spot so i think that's what i'm thinking fall coffee spot and dining room table 
fall like and that's pretty much it y'all i'll see you guys at the store i know i said that earlier but i'm really gonna leave now bye so they can get on their keyboards and make me the bad guy we're here at the mall let's go girly Y'all, yeah, I'm at Macy's right now. This is so cute. This is not usually my style of dressing, but remember I told you guys I need to wear like business casual clothes? But this is the dresses I really need to be wearing. This is Calvin Klein. That's how you know you're getting older. Oh my goodness, but isn't this like really hot? I actually like this better. Maybe I'm just doing this like leather. And this right here is cute too. It's a little edgy, but I have edgy days. But um, that's how you know you're getting older when this kind of clothes starts to appeal to you. No offense, no offense. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. It's the process of becoming a woman. You start changing the way you dress, you know, naturally. Look how beautiful this is. You cannot take the girly girl out the girl. I'm looking at all these suits, and this is the one I want. Ooh, they even have the matching top. I mean, I don't know if I'll do all that, but this is beautiful. And I kind of like this, but I don't think it's... I like it. I'm gonna express. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>